Alright, this is a weekly rating for Libra. My camera is not focusing. Alright, um, and it, it's been a really weird energy to pick up this week, so naturally I have this uh, card deck for my personal readings. I had it out on the table, that's my bad. But, um, yeah, it talked to me, it did its little swirl where all the cards fell off the table for your reading. I had pre-selected decks for every horoscope this week. I was more prepared than usual, but cards kind of want to do their own thing. So it's a weird energy, confusing energy. <laughs> a lot of stuff could come out in this reading that would normally do so. So I'm just letting you know now. And it's a seven card reading, so a lot of stuff will be revealed or um, said. It's a little bit different from the six card reading, I'm afraid. But eh, we still have a playlist. <laughs> um, so one uh, song from the playlist. We have um, hmm, the Beatles, Yesterday. So I'm going to list the other five um, songs in your playlist down below. Um, let's see. So, the first question for this week is your week as a whole. Um, so we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is um, having your suspicions justified, resilience, um, not being easily fooled, um, feeling prepared, grit, last stand, waiting until the time is right. So it's Sagittarius in a moon, so it's very passionate moon. It could be a very emotional moon. Um, it, it's more on a romantic level, I feel. So, um, yeah, you could be feeling a little romantic um, at the current moment. So, um, yeah. Could be some romance in the air. Um, so, something unexpected that will arise. We have the Seven of Swords. Um, Seven of Swords is wise and deception, affair, sharing feelings, feelings uh, suspicious, dishonesty, cunning, manipulation, cheating, refusal to face the truth. Um, so it's a very Aquarius moon, or it could also be another air sign, like Libra or Gemini. But, um, I feel like you might find out that your partner's cheating on you, or, um, like you were cheated out of something at work, if it's not romantic, but I feel like it's romantic. Um, but I feel like, you know, this is all gonna happen within, like, a matter of either days, or, like, you kind of had a suspicion that like, they were cheating on you. Um, because, like, maybe, maybe they're overtired, maybe they don't want to talk to you, maybe they don't want to, like, connect or, or, you know, do milestones or, like, relationship work or whatever. Um, relationship work's more like, you know, like, you connect on an emotional, spiritual level and then maybe physical later, but I feel like it's a lot of stuff that's being, like, kept secret, too. Um, feel like there's a lot of betrayal here. Um, so, how can you stay grounded and balanced this week? We have the High Priestess. Uh, the High Priestess, an increase in intuition, um, femininity, um, hmm, unconscious inner voice, um, physical, well, psychic ability, physical, um, you know, moments, I guess. The ability to predict the future. So, there's going to be the moon in this and secrets. Um, but I think that you understanding all the secrets that are involved, either on your plate or somebody else's plate, um, will help this relationship move along. Like, it will actually give you self-evaluation about your own relationship, too. Whether you should stay or go, or how you face relationships, how emotionally attached you get in relationships, or how detached you become in relationships, 
or that you work too much or something that's like really been the elephant in the room for the past couple weeks maybe um and it could resolve a lot of factors in your relationship so um let's see we have important emotion that you will feel this week we have the Knight of Chalices, so Knight of Cups, a Prince Charming, a Romantic, True Love, um, Idealism, Knight in Shining Armor, Loving um, Intentions, Trustworthy Partners, Following Your Heart, um, so Libra and Scorpio, so this could be your sign, or you could be on the cusp also of Libra and Scorpio, that's kind of why it keeps coming up, um, because this card is actually the rider sign of, um, the two, so it's very interesting that that would come up in this reading, um, so you might be <laughs> actually moving on from a relationship, or actually finding out more about your intentional, you know, relationship, or... Somebody might have just been dumped, and you're kind of swooping in for the rebound, but you kind of don't want it to be a rebound. You're kind of swooping in as a friend at the moment. But, um, yeah, it could just be an opportunity to move on from a relationship or to make a relationship better. Um, for some, it could be in the middle of, like, going from one relationship to the next, um, starting off, um, with something new, so... Let's see, the fifth question is something that will inspire you. We have the star card. Um, the star card is faith, um, rejuvenation. Um, you'll get what you want, dreams coming true, health improvements, um, hope for the future, wishes granted. Aquarius, so it's an air sign. It could be you. It could be somebody else. Um, that kind of has like a Gemini or um, Aquarius type energy um, that you're, you know, that you're looking at. Or it could be yourself. You could have the strength you need to move on or the strength you need to start over. Like, you know, the star cards usually hope. So hope for the future, hope for a new relationship, hope to make a relationship better, hope in any point in your life that needs it, you know, and it's just putting that into the thing, so there's also love and trust in this card, too, so, let's see, um, number six, how your spirit guides will speak to you this week, um, we have the nine of swords, um, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of weird for your, um, for that question, but again, it's all cards to me. Anyway, we have not trusting partner, suspicious of partner, guilt, worry, regret, regret of the past, emotional pain, anguish, um, self-deprecation, and unhappy affairs. So, um, uh, there could be a lot of truth coming out. Um, this could be a new relationship. This could be a lot of truth coming out. This could be a lot of... I feel like you you could be re-entering either somebody from the past or somebody who's always been a friend that you've kind of been interested in that was kind of just, like, really supportive that you're kind of getting in a relationship with. And they might have not known in depth of what your relationship with this other person was because I feel like it's the in-between relationship thing you might have had a karmic relationship and then you're switching over to like maybe a soulmate or a twin flame relationship and it might just be clearing the air with a lot of things like um you could have been talking to your um soulmate and twin flame for the longest time you guys became friends and then you were in a relationship with a karmic and you're just like um, you always felt the pull to go to your friend, you know, and talk to your friend more than actually, um, reconciling differences with, like, your current girlfriend, boyfriend, um, marriage partner, whatever the case is, 
um, you felt a pull towards the other person that you could be talking to right now about a lot of things. And I believe your spirit guide is kind of sending you towards this person. Um, in order to talk, in order to reconcile, in order to keep the door open and try to start something um, from the bottom up with this new person. Or, you know, old person that's kind of been around for a while. Um, so, uh, whatever the case is, it, it seems to be like a new person's on the horizon, I feel. Or it could be, you know, uh, starting a new relationship for some. Or actually getting out a single life. Okay, so how to best support yourself this week. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is doing projects with partner, feeling like a team, love at work, creative things, um, hobbies, colleagues, pulling together mentors, teamwork, business, partnerships, and satisfaction. So it's a Capricorn energy. So I feel like this new person... Um, or a new relationship could be very like calming to you. It could make you feel more enthusiastic, more charisma, uh, like have more charisma at work. Um, so people will notice. You could also work with this person. Um, so you guys just work as a team really well, or you work well, really well together. And um, just calming the waters, you know. Uh, that um, probably was a little rocky, you were a little guarded for a long time. Once it all comes out, like everything at work seems to go smoother than you originally thought. So it could also be that. So um, Libra, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, Leave them in the comment section below. You know I read everything. And I do think that this is going to be you moving from one relationship to the next for most of you. Um, for a few of you, it could be a new relationship altogether. Um, from single life to actually being together with a person or with a friend. Um, a friend that's been around for a while. Um, but anyway... Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now.